<laughs> what are you doing, kid? Today is the specialist of adventures, and although it didn't come as I imagined it, planned it, dreamed it, it's here, and I am so grateful for this experience. So what am I grateful to experience? Well, we are at Mount Blue Sky. For those who don't know, Mount Blue Sky is a scenic byway that actually leads to a 14er. It is one of the only drivable 14ers. Uh, you drive up to about 14,000 and then you can climb up to the peak, which is 14,269, I believe. And why is that so important to me? Well, if you're new here or you haven't been here long, Phoenix was diagnosed with a soft tissue sarcoma in March, and when they did the biopsy, they incidentally found that he has a peritoneal pericardial, we've got a marmot, <laughs> diaphragmatic hernia, uh, we've got a marmot is not part of his diagnosis, um, which basically means his intestines are in his pericardial sac. So he was born with this, it's congenital, the surgeons do not want to operate, and we've been told to keep him super healthy, super fit, because that's his, his superpower. But there's not many 14ers that I feel safe climbing to with him. And 14ers have been our goal since we started climbing in Colorado. We got snowed off of all of the mountains last year and didn't get to complete it. So it was something that I really, really wanted to do with him. And I didn't think I was gonna get to. So today, we are gonna climb to 14,259 feet. Um, we're actually already at 14,000 feet, so I'm already celebrating the fact that I am here with him. So let's go climb a mountain, kid. Let's go, but you're standing on me. Let's go. Oh no, oh no. Chaos, chaos. Where'd the marmot go? That's all you have eyes for. You, that's all you have eyes for, kid. <laughs> Buddy.
All right, we came down a little bit. We're still over about 14,000 feet, but as you can tell by him hiding behind the rock and by this photo, he does not like the wind gusts. So we came down to get a little bit of a wind break, have a little bit of a snack. If you've not had these, you're missing out kids. Wow, this is amazing. Um, let me tell you about it a little bit first um, in case you're wanting to join. So it is a timed entry. So you do have to pay to get in on the Blue Sky Scenic Byway and you pay a different price per what you want. So I also got Summit Lake, so I'm gonna stop at the lake, but you can just get, you know, parking here at Mount Blue Sky or just at Summit Lake, depending upon what you wanna do for the day. The hike from the parking lot is a little over half a mile, easily graded. If you've come from, you know, eight, 9,000 feet, you're not gonna feel it as much, but if you're a flatlander, you are going to feel it. I very much felt it at the beginning, <laughs> very much, but now I feel great and I feel like we could probably run or go do some activity. You can also get to Mount Blue Sky from other hikes. So if you are wanting to get a 14er with a hike, you can actually get Mount Beardstat and loop around and get a 13er and a 14er in one day. So beautiful area. I feel so blessed to be here and so thankful to be here. And like, it was so windy up top that I couldn't really, you know, take video or, or talk like I would normally talk. And honestly, it was almost better that way because I just sat and just took in the world with fiends. Um, because you do, you feel like you are absolutely on top of the world. It is a magical feeling up here. And um, I was just able to take that in with them, although we were also chased by those goats a lot. And so they really like fiends. I think they're like, oh, friend, he friend shaped. Um, highly recommend this though. I think this would be amazing for older people who maybe got into hiking later and and don't uh, you know feel comfortable doing a 14er. Heck, I just think it's great for kids. I think it's great for anybody. Like, I get it. I can't necessarily say I climbed a 14er, but what an experience. Everybody should experience this. And I think something like this allows it to, allows you to, um, because you don't have to be in like crazy good shape or, you know, stay acclimated for a while to be able to do it. So yeah, it was amazing. And he is now laying in the shade, little wind block. This area is beautiful. Um, it's a bit tundra-y, so you be careful where you step, but it's flowers everywhere. And we've got pika and we've got mountain goats and it's pika, pika, pika. Uh, we've got pika, we've got mountain goats and we had jets fly over and they did this whoosh, over the mountains and it was amazing. And there's an alpine lake down there and I just can't stop crying. <laughs> because I'm so grateful to have him here. <laughs> and I'm so thankful for the ability to do this. And this is, okay, we're done. We're gonna go back to, <laughs> ah, no! No back to eating our pretzels. Um, <laughs> and stop crying. Oh, good boy. They don't want the bike up. There's bike up poop everywhere, ma'am. Cannot eat those. Cannot eat those, ma'am. Seriously. Even on top of the world. Oh, oh no. So the sheep or goats, I don't know what they're, are they bighorn sheep? I think they might be bighorn sheep. I don't know, I've never, yeah, they're, they're bighorns. They are literally licking the side of this guy's truck and it is cracking me up. People have pieces of, yeah, it's gotta be sheep. I think I've said, I think I said goats multiple times. I don't know. Um, I think they're big horned sheep. That makes more sense. Anywho, let's just blame the altitude. Um, anywho, they are licking the side of this guy's truck and people have like pieces of sheep fur hanging off the side of their vehicles. It's cracking me up. All right, let's go to the lake.
my hat flew off, luckily into the water, so it's kind of clean now, right? Um, we are on the Summit Lakes Overlook. This thing is a beautiful, gorgeous trail. I think it connects to the one that goes up to Mount Beardstat and then around to Mount Evans. So if you want to snag a 13er and a 14er in one day, start here, my loves. It is absolutely stunning here. But I will say, I much prefer, I'm sorry, I keep burping, but I'm gonna keep it in because I'm human. Um, but I much prefer my Alpine lakes um, by myself. So that is, that is the one thing. Um, I also could have stopped here earlier and probably would have had more alone time, but um, I would love to just sit by the lake, but they have a lot of it blocked off so that you don't walk on the tundra. So can't sit by the lake um, in peace, but uh, I'm certainly gonna enjoy the heck out of this. Oh wait, there's some stairs and a sign. Let's see, can I go down? Let's side of the lake is a shoreline trail. Good God, Fiends. And there's nobody over here. But Fiends is losing his mind. Like he's gonna get to be off leash and swim, but he cannot be. Leashes are required here. Oof. So, okay. I'm gonna try not to die. hiked up to the Chicago Lakes Summit Overlook. Beautiful, totally worth it. Woohoo! You're at like 12.9 here, but it's so easy. Graded, you can easily go, but there's a couple trails back there. Man, if I had more time here, I would love to get my feet on some of these trails. Absolutely stunning area. Absolutely gorgeous. I've never seen Colorado wildflowers, so this is my first. Oh, there's nothing more beautiful than and tundra to just see yellows and purples and oranges and pinks. Oh. Colorado, I love you. Not the only one who doesn't know what they are. Look at that. I'm just gonna call them sheep goats. Sheep goats, they're both. That's, that's what we're calling them. It is time for us to head off the mountain. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today at Mount Blue Sky. I'm pretty sure we had the most epic blue sky day to visit Mount Blue Sky, and it really couldn't have been any better of a day, any more magical of a day, any more special of a day. I'm glad we can bring you along. Oh, she almost went. That tripod almost went, so I think it is time for us to sign off. And we're actually gonna head down the mountain onto our next adventure, which 